back to the 1958 World Cup, the greatest sporting event on Earth. We are live in Gothenburg, only moments away from the start of the final match of Group 4. Brazil versus the Soviet Union. So much more than just a game for Brazil. And with all their losses in the last decade, the country's spirit has been just crushed. We've even seen some Brazilian fans committing suicide by jumping from the upper tiers of the stadiums. But let's be honest, the Soviet are the reigning Olympic champions. And Brazil, I mean, Brazil should be counting their blessings. They even qualified for the World Cup. Brazilians are about to enter a stadium filled with Europeans all rooting against them. They don't stand a chance. They're young, they're unorthodox, they got no discipline, and they're mixed race to boot. It's just sad, really, and now with all the player injuries, they are forced to play a 17-year-old reserve. You almost have to feel sorry for Brazil. Lack of confidence has been a real problem for the Brazilians, and starting a 17-year-old is hardly the answer. In fact, reports from the locker room say the teenager was sick to his stomach upon learning he would be starting. Not exactly the confidence boost Brazil was hoping for. The 1958 World Cup in Sweden. It's Brazil versus the Soviet Union. The World Cup debut for 17-year-old Edson Nascimento, the youngest player ever to play in the tournament. And Ulemi Stadium is absolutely booming. 50,000 screaming fans, millions more tuning in from around the world. In only a few moments, it will be up to this youngster and his South American brothers to keep their nation hopes and dreams alive. I finished shining shoes and was walking Zaka home when he slipped. Me? I don't remember. But you are playing football! You 
you should know better. You both go change and get back to shining shoes. Mama, what about the wild card? Don't even think about it. It's car still tied 1 1. The crowd here in East now Kenny. Brazil must win. And here comes Brazil now, giving it everything they've got. It's this thing. Go, just one go. We have to cross it. It's your year with the header. It's close to cross it. Tied 1 1. Over 200,000 fans now on their feet. Crammed into every seat. Some eager fans even watching from the roof. And Uruguay Ruben Moran now lines up for the corner kick. Here it is. Uruguay shoots. Just five. Kiko, what's the score? Still 1 1. Final minutes. He said still tied 1 1. The match is winding down. Ofino. What's the score? Shh! Get lost, Oka! I told Ma you were here listening to the World Cup. Okay, just stay quiet. He shoots and it's gone! Oh. What happened, Chico? What happened? Did we score? Go against Brazil, 2 1. Die. And off suddenly all the pressure is on Brazil with only. Ah. Go for Brazil. Win a World Cup for Brazil by. I promise. If you're smart, Chico, you listen to your mother. You focus on school and avoid the football like the plague. Yes, I get it. Football is romantic. I should know I met her father at a game. Five goals he scored with his head that day. Hmm. Then we got married, and I told him if he was so good with his head, he wouldn't play football. They paid him nothing and dropped him as soon as he hurt his knee. No insurance, no severance. You think your father wanted to be a janitor? Spend the rest of his life scrubbing toilets. Coming! Now, Jiku, can I trust you to finish this so I can hang the wash? Mm -hmm. The Bauru Yuska. Man, that tournament's for street kids. Why bother? Because the Brito's gonna be at the final. Valdemar do Brito? The scouts? Yeah, it says he is looking for players for the Santos Football Club. Pusha, once he sees me play like Vistefano, I'm going pro, baby. Wait till he sees me play like Puskas. And I'll be like Mazzola. And I'll be like Pelé. Who the heck's Pelé? Goalkeeper for Vasco. <laughs> Bile the suit. His name's Bile. <laughs> what idiot would think Bile's name is Pelé? We can call this boy Pelé. Hey, Pelé, stop this shot. <laughs> Senhor José, I'm sorry for my son. Me? Wait, shh! Dico, I won't bring him again. Hmm. <laughs>
Copa da Juventude de Baru. Tournament? Are you crazy? Your parents might be shouting shoot. Nah, soca. Maybe he's right, Duke. What if your mom finds out? Hey, come on. Let's show these snobby heroes how we play. Fine, but I'm out. I don't want Ma to kill me. I'm in a star. Come on, let's do this. He's got it. Welcome to round one of the Tao Ru Yuka. for the final where the kings will take on team number seven. Hey, they are called the shoeless ones. <laughs> we need football boots. Boots? How are we gonna pay for boots? I got an idea. Scrubs floors and shine shoes. Hey, Pele, how much for a shine? Don't call me that. Or what? Or you got problems. Who, Fatty and his sister? Hey, you need not a girl. Then why is he needy? For ice. <laughs> Sewing, technically. Put it away. Now, how much for a shine? Pele. <laughs> Your teacher did this to you? Uh-huh. Is this true, Zaka? How dare she? 
You and me are gonna have a word with that woman tomorrow at this school. Tomorrow? No, I can't. Uh, I mean, you have work. Celeste. Let me talk to his teacher. You go to work. You know, when I was your age, I used to get in fights. Especially when all the boys called names. But with time, I learned a good player knows that fighting comes from insecurity. The point is, Chico, if you want to play professionally, you can't be ashamed of who you are. I couldn't believe it. Not only did he keep the fight a secret, but he knew all about the tournament. And he even said he hopes I become a pro football player. Wow, that's great, Giacomo. What happened to your glasses? I don't want them to call me names. Bingo! Elsa! What? They're used! And gigantic! You kidding me? And other complaints! Senoras e senhores, welcome to the final of the Bauru Youth Cup. Today's match, the Kings, led by Captain José Alcafini. Versus the shoeless ones, led by Captain Pelé. Come on, hey, come on. They're just trying to get you mad. It's working. And please give a warm welcome hey, to football legend Valdemar de Brito. He is scouting for the Santos Football Club. Teams take the field. Okay, everyone know the plan? When in doubt? Do what they do! Ooh. All right, boys, may the best team win! Volcano, block it! Go! Jose Altafini and the Kings off to a quick lead! The Kings up 2 to 0! The shoeless ones all tripped up. Where's my defense? The Kings in perfect form. A beautiful give and go. Go, Altafini, 6 0. Nice move, Spillet. Hey, hey, go, man. It's not worth it. What are you doing? I hate these boots. Come on, come on, no time to waste. Let's go, let's go. Come 
Senhoras e senhores, hold on to your hats. Ten minutes still on the clock in the second half. Let's samba! The Kings win six to five. She beat those guys. Don't worry, Chico. It's okay. Listen. Peanuts back. You could get out of here, you know. We're both getting out of here. Just give it a minute to rest. No, not the cave. I mean, you could get out of here, here, Duke. What we did today.
was so happy not to buy football boots. But if I hadn't said, we need the stupid boots, Tiago wouldn't have died. <laughs> It's all my fault, mine. I killed him. I killed him. It's okay, Jiko. You didn't know. I'm gonna be good now, mine. I'm gonna study and do good in school. I promise. <laughs> De Mar de Brito, Football Scout. I think it's time he worked with you in the clinic after school. As a kid, I had a mango tree just like that. I taught myself how to practice with the fruit, green for shooting, ripe for finesse.
nice and soft. Okay? Whoa! Soft! Let's do it again. Again. Whoa! Oh! That's it! Calm. It's okay. Breathe. <laughs> Don't try so hard. Just enjoy yourself. <laughs> Everything else will come. Tomorrow, I'll just head that way. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Gico! Gico, this is Mr. Valdemar de Brito. How would you like to try out for the Santos Football Club? Enough, Maria. Go help our brother try on his new pants. Okay, all set. What's wrong, Chico? I don't think I can do this, Maria. Maybe I should just say no. How would you get the team? In advance from Senor Altafim. I'll just wear the pants. It's okay, in advance from the clinic. But my part, you okay? Yeah, they're giving up a lot for this, aren't they? You're right. We have to be strong for them now. He's only 15, don't you? He's never even left Bauru. To go. I love you guys. Be good. Go on, my filho. You go make us proud.
Espírito Santo. Each of you will be evaluated based on your execution of proper form and discipline. Number one and number two. There's no magic in football, boys. Whatever primitive style you played at home, forget it. Here, you learn to master the techniques of the best team in Europe. Oh, 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 oh! That's exactly the kind of monkey business I'm talking about. Ball on the ground. Ball on the ground, boys. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, 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 back off, boys, back off. This is the win for the pro team now, for the pro team. And here's the win for the junior team, boys. Junior team. And the youth team. And now the side foot is for accuracy, but for power, use the instep here with the laces out, not the toe, laces out. You see what happens when we play with that primitive style? We lose. Watch how Hungary beats us in the 54 quarter final. No showmanship, no beating their mark, they just master the formations. Even so soon? Mr. De Brito, what are you doing here? I was going to ask the same of you. I'm no good, Mr. De Brito. I can't play like the other guys. And if I don't go back to school now, I'll end up cleaning toilets. Mm-hmm. And what's wrong with that? Cleaning toilets? No. What's wrong with not playing the way the other guys do? Coach says the way I play is primitive. It is primitive. It has a long and rich history. Then why does Coach hate it? Well, uh, it all started at the beginning of the 16th century. <laughs> huh? Come on. If you don't want to know, no, I'll No, 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 Mr. Debrito. I do want to know. Please, tell me. OK. Like I was saying, it was the beginning of the 16th century. The Portuguese arrived to Brazil with African slaves. But the African's will was strong. And many escaped to the jungle. To protect themselves, the runaway slaves called upon the Chinga, the foundation of Capoeira, the martial art war. When slavery was finally abolished, the capoeiristas came out of the jungle, only to find that capoeira was outlawed throughout the land. 
they saw football as a perfect way to practice the Jinga without being arrested. It was the ultimate form of Jinga. And before long, the Jinga evolved, adapted, until it was no longer just ours, but the rhythm within all Brazilians. But by the 1950 World Cup, most believed our Jinga star was to blame for the loss and turned against anything associated with our African heritage. And just like your coach has been trying to remove Jinga from your play, we've been trying to remove it from ourselves as a people ever since. But the Jinga's very strong in you, Jiko. So you can either show us what happens when you have the courage to embrace who you truly are. Or you can get on that train and you will never know. I'm sorry. Do it again. Eu 
think you'd score four goals? Hmm? Zito, midfielder, protein. So, uh, you know the best part of scoring four goals is? You get to run out and bring me coffee. Ancient Santos tradition. <laughs> and put some gas into it, huh? Wrong list, you go. Welcome to the pros. Everyone eager to watch the 15 year old Phenom and his magical style of play. Yes. Delivery for Dona Celeste. For me, there must be a mistake. It's a gift, my. Chico. Chico. Oh, hey, my. Chico. <laughs> Maria. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> Don't touch the stove, space. Maria. Where's the hey, fire? Hey, it's not a toy. You do realize there is no gas in Bolo, right? Don't break their hearts. We can just use it as a table. <laughs> For you, Pai. Hey. Whoa, wow. it's a radio. Yeah, I know what it is. Now you can listen to my games. <laughs> oh, no, no, not in my house. Listen to your games. Are you trying to give your mother a heart attack? We can listen to Team Brazil invitations tomorrow. Don't I'm you not. listen, Joca? <laughs> Besides, you have school and your father works. Ah, Does that mean nothing to you? Come on, Maria. I'm 16. There's no way I'm making a selection. Mm-hmm. He's right. No point to listen. I should be disappointed. You look sick. Are you okay? <laughs> Let me get this straight. Top scorer gets coffee, the youngest player gets lunch, and the shortest cleans the showers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our ancient Santos traditions. Man, you think maybe Zit was making them up? But man, that's incredible. You're playing with Zito and the pro team. It's not the same as of you guys. I miss Thiago. Me too. Where's Fafinho? We robbed the store. What? I got away, but Fafinho got one year in jail. <sighs> Yuri. I know, I know. It's just... You know how things go around here. Hey, but I've been listening to all your games. I still can't believe you made the selection. You heard? It's pretty much the greatest thing that ever happened to us. We're all gonna be pulling for you out there.
Now is a critical time for our country and our freedom. Ever since we lost the Cup B-50, we've become ashamed. The spirit of our people is dying, but now you can change all that. I had you to teach it on for you. Pele? Yeah. But that's what those rich kids called me to make fun of me. No. It's what the people called you when they saw you play with Jenga. And when I saw you had something, I did not. Years ago, Jiko, when I first became a professional footballer, I wanted to play with Jenga so beautiful. Brazilians were the rot with pride. But when I finally got my shot, I was filled with doubt. <laughs> and it ended my career. But oh, why? Because I stopped believing. Doubt can turn a beautiful Jenga movie into a dangerous one. But you have to be stronger than I was, you know? When people say mean things about you and how you play, you must never fail. Ashamed, but got it. Come. Stay strong, you feel. Hey, 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 watch this, watch this. So you're the kid that thinks you can dribble like me, huh? <laughs> then you've got style. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Gaisha. Hi. Chico. This is Castillo. Castillo, hey. Uh, it's Mauro. Mm. Hey, Mauro. Chico. <laughs> Vava. Hey, Vava. Uh, Zito, you know, yeah. right? Nascimento, <laughs> hey! <laughs> And Didi. See you on the bench, kid. <laughs> the bench? But coach hasn't picked the lineups yet. Are uh, you sure about that? There's your competition. Oh, absolutely. That's solid. Good luck convincing coach to start you over him. Wow, he scrubs force and shots. You know, be like Masala. 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 It's Jose Tafini. Yeah. But he goes by Mazzola, because he says he plays just like the legendary Italian striker. Well, my family is Italian, and I was trained in that style of play. So I'm confident I will bring some of the sophistication and class some others of the team may lack. <laughs> I really think your Jinga style will hold up against the Europeans. I, I don't see what's so bad about Jinga. Oh. Listen, listen, it's okay. Silencio, silencio. Okay, okay, listen, no one here wants to relive 1950. I can assure you that this team will be civilized both on and off the field. We will only show our best face in Sweden. All right. Let's take the ball. Go. Brazil is at a crossroads. We either go down in history as the savages, 
where we enter the ranks of the civilized. The president spoke those words to me this morning. And I promised him that this team, that my team, unlike those of the past, would not make fools of ourselves and Brazil. And you. You may be 16 years old, but you're now a spokesman for this great nation. Jinga style might have worked for you back in Santos, but it will never hold up at an international level. But coach, I don't want to hear it. It won't happen again. Say it. It won't happen again. Ah! It won't happen again. Get on my haircut and some proper clothes. According to insider reports, Coach Fiola is struggling with his new recruits during their first month of practices. But since fans called for replacing virtually the entire team after the disaster of 1950 and the disgrace of 54, the coach was left with few options outside of inexperienced and unconventional players. The bulky midfielder, Zito, bent leg striker, Manega Riccia, and the youngster, Chico Nascimento, who made headlines last month for his outburst at the inaugural banquet, much to the chagrin of Coach Viola. Teaching Brazilians to play the same discipline formations as European teams seems challenging enough, but the coaching staff appears to also be encouraging a more refined presentation of the field. Why all the fuss? It's about changing that image. We don't want to arrive in Sweden and have the world say, Oh, there's Brazil. <laughs> yes, but you are Brazilian, aren't you? No. <laughs> You're not listening. I'm, I'm talking about the way others see us and how we play. Then how do you account for the reports of the team playing lousy in practices? Certain players still are not up to international standards. And you think they can be by Sweden? Maybe we're There's lousy, because they're not playing the way we know how. I really hope you're not saying what I think you're saying. I mean, what if we just didn't get it right in 50? All I know is that coach picks the starting lineup today. Show him you can play the way Jose plays, and you might have a shot. But if you play with Jinga, I know, it's just my dad. Your dad what? Nothing, forget it. I want to see good, clean football, boys! Short, sharp passes! Isuma Zola, excellent! You got Baba on the wing! Cross to the wing! Take it from him! Take it! All right now, spread it out, Blue! Here we go! small condition.
No, Jacob. Jacob. We made that choice together. And it was the right choice. Your father and I love you no matter what. Why didn't you te ama? Okay, let's have a look. Deep breath. Still too swollen to say. Keep eyes on it for a few days. And then, you can play? Maybe next season. I'm so sorry. We'll take another look in Sweden, if he's going. It's too late to replace him now. Start him on rehabilitation. Better maximize for the flight. Yes, sir. Everyone quiet, this is it. Brazil. Brazil struggled immensely with their team's image ever since they lost in 1950. Then in 54, shamefully stormed their opponent's locker room with broken bottles after losing in the quarterfinals. The big question now was, could they remake themselves? Well, they brought in coach Vicente Fiola for just that purpose. And the reports we've received have really surprised the world. It appears Brazil hasn't learned their lesson. Earlier this week, we heard about players injuring themselves using that same untrained street style that failed them in 1950. Clearly, Fiola wasn't man enough for the task. Expect Group 4 to go to the Soviet Union, followed by England. the jewel of the Baltic, and home to the 1958 World Cup. Ticket queues stretching around city blocks for the upcoming games, where teams from 16 countries will compete for the coveted Jules Remey Trophy. Last to arrive is Team Brazil, who only had to play Peru to qualify after Venezuela inexplicably withdrew after seeding, practically giving the Brazilians a free pass to the cup. And there's the French national team, one of the favourites to win the World Cup, but not as favoured as the home nation, Sweden. There they are, stars Gunnar Grimm, Kurt Hamrin, Sigge Parling, Nils Liedholm, Agnes Simonsen, and it seems one lucky reporter has scored an interview with everyone's favourite left winger, Lynnett Macca Scotland. Macca, how is it you feeling? Perfect, it's our country, our fans, and our time to shine. How about Mexico? Well, no team from outside Europe has ever won the cup of European soil. The real thing in Mexico or this myth is there. We'll have a change there. Let's see what Team Brazil has to say for themselves. It is fortunate these young athletes play with their feet, because it would appear the cat got this one's tongue. And stay tuned for a special report on the wonders of Swedish culture and cuisine after these messages from our sponsors. Bunch of fascists, if you ask me. They even get a king who stops six Adolf. I mean, who's got a number in the middle of their name? I, I, hey, hey, I, calma. Drink, it'll help with the pain. I added some of my special herbs to speed up the healing. We'll teach that white doctor to doubt the ancient arts. The referees here keep the ball after every game. You believe that? I'll be damned if they get the winning ball this time. That ball's coming home with me, whether they like it or not. Signals and the first match of Group 4 is underway. Brazil versus Austria. That's Hala out to right wing for Kamora. Austria, of course, not as strong as they were four years ago. Early 
Earlier today, Brazil pulled off a surprising upset against Austria in Group 4. Gentlemen, Brazil now prepares to take on to England this Sunday. And here in Group 3, Sweden trouncing Mexico 3 to nil. I have to admit, it looks a lot better than I expected, but it's still extremely weak. So you're clear him? It'll be excruciatingly painful for him. I take that as a yes. Should they talk about this? Get him on his feet. It's too dangerous, even the slightest damage. At Rezunda Stadium, Sweden continues to dominate with a 2-0 win over Hungary today, securing their place in the quarterfinals. And in Group 4, Brazil, a heavy underdog coming into the tournament, managed to edge out Austria in their first match, then survived England in a scoreless tie. The first we've seen in World Cup history. The match was a proper bloodbath, leaving three of Brazil's starting players injured. Joel, Nino Sani, and striker Jose Altafini, nicknamed Mazzola, whose leg injury will prevent him from being a today against the Soviet Union. Come on, Julio. The Soviets are big in a grand. Brazil coach Mr. Mazzola only started one black player before today, but these injuries will force his hand. And we've just received word that Viola will give the nod to defensive midfield reserve Zito, bandy-legged right-winger Garrincha, and 17-year-old Edison Nascimento, who and who apparently is himself recovering from a sprained knee. Let's go! Pull yourself together! You cannot go on camera like this. Cabo! Clean yourself up. Come on. You gotta stand up straight. Up straight! Try to look older than you are for once, for God's sake. You watch Gigi and Zagallo for the shifts. You see Mazzola run. And lace your goddamn boots up! Hey, Jiggle, that is why. Listen, you must protect that knee at all costs. It's very weak. And you don't even think about Jim. It's too dangerous. Good Lord, lace up your boots. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Let's go! Soviet defense. Garrincha pops one through the middle to Mama. The shot! Go! Brazil takes the lead 1 to 0. A stroke yeah. of luck for Coach yeah. Viola and Team Brazil. Last minute changes in the Brazilian lineup seem to have confused the Soviets. And newcomers Garrincha and Baba capitalize. Unlike the young Nascimento, the Soviets have really had their way with them. You'll have to do a better job to stay out of their way. If intends to walk out of here on his own two feet. And there's another missed pass for Brazil, but nonetheless, the Soviets have yet to capitalize on these turnovers. And with only a few minutes remaining in the match, it appears Brazil may just edge away with this one, which would beat them against France in next week's semi-final.
whistle on that push from Nasser Minto, who shows his frustration after losing the ball. He hesitated on his dribble there, the kind of mistake that can easily lead to injury. And here's France now, Raymond Copa. Lays one out for just Fote. Fote to pass, Yuman. Oh, no! Oh, no! A goal for France. We were on the boards first with a goal from Vava, but now France strikes back. That has got to demoralize Brazil as the teams head to the locker rooms after a very physical first half. play like you. If your leg is better, you should go back in. It's not my leg. My head is not right. Your head? My whole life. All I ever wanted was to be European. Since we've got here, I've been I realize that I'm Brazilian. And always will be. That day back in Bardo, we showed everyone that that part of us, the Jinga, was beautiful. The World Cup semi-final. France and Brazil neck and neck at the start of the second half. Today's winner will advance to Sunday's final, where they will likely face Sweden. France, of course, favoured over Brazil, the only team from outside Europe still in competition. <laughs>
He's fine. And uh, he scored three goals. Listen up. I got four days to get you in shape for the final. Everyone take notes. Sweden has been shifting from pyramid 5 3 2 to 3 2 2 3, and sometimes to method 2 3 2 3. We play straight 4 2 4. I therefore gotta beat these guys. We're gonna have to shift formation as they do. And this is how we're gonna do it. Two, five, three, two. Then we go to three, four, three. Let's go next. Whatever they run with the method of two, three, two, three. We match with the four, three, three. Nobody in the field over here. Fire, fire. Everybody is here. And Oakland nobody Street is Center. here. Never follow. Not ever. But coach, isn't that their shift to 3 for 3 No. Skoglund sweeps to start Sweden's counter-attack. GG. Sweep only. What is that? I said 4 5 what? GG, slide over. You run the 4 5 what? Got in your roll out. You got to be ready for God on the wing. Coach. What? I don't understand how I'm supposed to be on the wing and covering Skoglund at the same time. Because you. The Swedes end the edge over Brazil in almost every regard. Experience, sophistication, strategy and strength, and even dirty play. Last week we saw West German captain Fritz Walter's illustrious career come to an end after this severe collision with Swedish midfielder Sigi Parling. Well, come Sunday's final, expect Parling sides to be set on the young Edson Nascimento. Nascimento scored an impressive hat-trick in 20 minutes in the semi-final against France. Coach Rainer, any concern he'll do the same against Sweden in Sunday's final? No, no, that's not possible. No, uh, our boys will eliminate him from the equation. Uh, Coach Fiola. Coach Rainer's offense outsmarted West Germany, Hungary. Do you have any plan to contain them? Well, they can't. <laughs> we will come out strong, score early, and Brazil will panic, just like they did in 1950. They were undisciplined then, and they are undisciplined now. Well, what do you expect? Well, they're abnormal. You're referring to the mixed race? No, I mean they are literally abnormal. Can you elaborate? Uh, well, yes, in fact, I can. <laughs> Dujalma Santos, full back. He mangled his hand in an accident while working in a factory as a teenager. The right winger, Gorincha, born with a deformed spine and one leg shorter than the other. The uh, reserve, Castillo. He's colorblind and missing a finger. Challenging for a goalkeeper, I imagine. <laughs> I heard about the press conference. Everyone here is really down about it. But this is exactly what happened in 50. You can't let the doubt get you. I heard the guys are calling you Pelé now. Yeah, Jose started it. It's silly. This is a sign. Now is the time for Pelé. <laughs> but Sweden's gonna be all over me, Pai. And did you see what they did to Fritz Walter? They're brutal and smart. Chico. You believed in yourself against friends. Now you must inspire your team to believe in themselves. In Brazil. In the Jinga. You won't be able to do it alone. You know we can do this. It's not that hard. It might be possible. Why not? Zito, come on. Why not? 
Tomorrow, you will play for the Jewish Remake Trophy. And if you play the way you played this last week, you will lose. And it will be my fault. The truth is that shifting formations may work miracles for Sweden, but it is not us. What I saw at the hotel today, that's how we play. <laughs> they say that we don't all play the same. It's true. We certainly don't all look the same, like they do. <laughs> but that's what makes us who we are. We have one thing in common. The jinga. The joy and the expression of Brazil. <laughs> so when you take the field tomorrow, forget everything that I told you this last week. I don't want the world to see a bunch of scared Brazilians trying to play like Sweden. I want them to see Brazil, just as we are. I don't know if we will win. But I do know that we will show them a beautiful game. What are you all sitting around for? I did not say that practice was counted. After a night of heavy rains, it's a brisk summer morning with clear skies here in Stockholm. Fine weather for football as Sweden prepares to host the 1958 World Cup final. 
the Nordic titans of Europe will take on the less experienced but ever flamboyant Brazil. Two teams with nothing in common other than perhaps their yellow jerseys. But of course, per the King's decree, Brazil will be forced to wear blue today against the heavily favoured home nation. How many goals will Sweden win by? No one can say. But everyone agrees Brazil will need nothing short of a miracle to take home the Jules Rene trophy.
defence off their marks, freeing up the lads' teammates, and Brazil evens the score. A most unexpected turn. And this is a Team Brazil like we've never seen them before. Just in soothing confidence.
June 29th, 1958. The day Brazil won our first World Cup. When the final whistle blew, I fainted right there on the field. When I finally opened my eyes, everything felt like a dream. It had only been 18 months since I first left home, but it felt like years. My mother and father came out to meet me, and dad reminded me of the promise I made eight years earlier. But I'll never forget 1958, the year I became Pelé. Our jingle style became known as the beautiful game, and the Brazilians everywhere came to see. It was our differences that made us beautiful. Oh, Jingal, é na luta, é com garra que eu mostro meu valor. Oh, Jingal. 